just broke up camp in between these little rain showers. Yeah, last night after it got dark, there was this huge flash. And I thought it was like somebody sweeping my tent with their headlamp. And I didn't see anything else, and there was just huge thunder. I slept really well. Just a spritz. It's like just enough to keep the dust down. But otherwise, you can see there's like nice blue skies coming in, so. All right, Tennessee Pass, here we go. Here we are, Tennessee Pass Trailhead. Weather looks fair right now. As you can see, there's plenty of people. I'm gonna hope that I can yogi my way into town here in a minute. Stay tuned for the Leadville Zero and more to come. Hi, pick us up. <laughs> See, all you gotta do is ask nicely and then somebody will just pull right over. You know, nice friendly people. Just doing good in the world. Helping out hikers. Now it's me and Pops. Over the pass yesterday or the day before? Sorry. Which pass? The... There's some mountain bikers up there. It's here in beautiful Leadville. Into the clouds hostel. They hooked it up with this really cool town shirt. So I don't have to wear my stinky shirt out. I am wearing my damp shorts but it's all right they're almost dry just gonna go get some food go to the post office just kind of hanging around seeing what leadville has to offer it's kind of stinking up the place just hanging out here with what is it pev the pev s crew <laughs> maybe we can find somebody with a trail name that starts with r and then we'll really hit the town you know what i'm saying <laughs> But so far, all in all, it's been really nice. Just had some lunch at this place called the Silver Llama. Pops went down ordering food. Elijah's hobbling around nursing his foot. I've got a giant blister. Just running some errands here in Leadville. Came up to the post office and there's nobody here. Even the post office is by appointment only. So, there's some hikers who've got some stuff that are supposed to be here for general delivery. You know, it is Monday afternoon, I guess, at this point. Yeah, Monday afternoon, 1.30. So I'm just trying to get coordinated with whomever it is. The postmaster, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a hold of the postmaster so we can get the things that are located inside of this building or wherever it is that they're holding them. <laughs> uh, scratch all that. Oh, goodness. This is the courthouse annex. It says it right there, courthouse annex. So this is part of the fun, you know? <laughs> this is all part of the fun. Just trying to figure out where you are, where you're going, where you're at, how to get the things that you need. It's not like we even like need that much. 
just some food and a place to stay, but it can be really complicated at times, especially when you show up to the courthouse annex thinking that it's the post office. But I think it's gonna be just fine. It's all working out, let's see. Yeah, see, everything's fine. There's a hiker just hanging out in front of the post office. They got the flags flying because they're a proud federal agency. All right. So the crew was able to get the melis from the lottery, but the Melanzana stores are closed back there. We're trying to get some information, but rumor on the street is, is that Baco is about to destroy that store, which makes me really sad. I walked all the way here from Denver to get a hoodie and I wasn't able to get one. So hopefully those construction workers reconsider what their task today is and that store will survive another day so that I can come back to Leadville and I too can earn myself a coveted melee. <laughs>